Hello everyone. Welcome back to Living One Plant at a Time. My name is Samantha. It's a gorgeous, beautiful uh, Sunday morning. And today I'd like to um, give you uh, one, two, four, six of my favorite February plants. So let's get going. So the first one is this gorgeous Samurai Sansevieria. I just love its form. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And uh, last September, it started growing a baby shooting up from here, a baby, and instead of cutting it off and propagating it, I left it on the mother plant. I think it looks so architecturally stunning. Look at the roots here. I find it very easy going. It's a slow grower but very easy going and I have it on my um, a south facing windowsill. So this is the first one, Samurai Sansevieria. The next one, we're going to go to uh, um, a Hoya. This is my S.P. Bertinet, and it's really taking off this winter. It's bloomed already once this year, this winter, and now it's giving me another bloom. Just look at that. I just, I, I, I love how it's sun stress. You can see it's a little bit um, purplish. Even in the back, look at the purple. I don't know if it'll pick it up in, no. I don't know if you can see that. It says sun stresses so nicely and I have it sitting back here on this shelf. Very easy going. For the longest time this wasn't growing for me, but um, this year it's taken off. And I, I love it. And I've heard there's also a variegated one. This, this isn't variegated, but it looks variegated, just the way it sun stresses. So my S.P. Bertinet. That's the second one. Now, we're going to go to another uh, Hoya that's on this list. And this is my Hoya Mini Bell. This reminds me of my, uh, of a Schuppertii, of the shape of its leaves, but it's a little bit thicker, I would say. This also is a very slow, it's slow growing for me, but just the last two weeks, I noticed two peduncles. One here, and where's the other one? And one over here. 
So that's why this made it on my list. I think it, it's an underrated uh, Hoya, but I think uh, once it starts growing out, uh, I think it, it'll look really, look really nice. And since I love my Shaperdi eye, it's right here, up here, if you can see it. Um, I think I'll enjoy this much more. I got it in um, Plant Swap as a freebie. And uh, I'm pretty glad I did. So this is Hoya Mini Bell. Now, we're going to go to another one, one of my favorites also, and this is Aripsalis, um, the, the name I can't pronounce, so, but it goes by Dancing Bones. And it's grown so much. I got it as a little, little cutting. And it wasn't doing anything for the longest time. And um, this, over this winter, it started growing quite a bit. And I love it in this pot. These also at the tips, um... The flowers are small little yellow flowers and they grow at the tips of these stems. So this is my third, is it third? No, fourth plant of February. Now we're gonna go back to um, another Hoya that's doing really well in February for me. And let me see if I can grab it. It's my Hoya Gracilis. This also was, wasn't doing so great. It wasn't growing. And, um, recently... It started uh, growing a lot, and it's also given me a flower. Now, it's been in bloom for, I would say, over a week, so I'm pretty sure they're going to start falling. And it smells, it's hard to, uh, there's a faint, faint smell, but I, I can't. It's like cheap uh, perfume. That's what I can... Cheap perfume. And and uh, lemony. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. But anyways, I love this plant. It's also very underrated. But uh, I think it's gorgeous. It also has... Uh, sun stressed here. So it goes really... The leaves become much darker and you can see also silvery, oh, not this one, let me get one for you here. These are new, just, it, it's a gorgeous palette. So, that's my sixth plant of February, my Hoya gracilis. Aren't the um, flowers stunning? And now we go to one of my favorites.
favorite plants, and that is my fern. Look at this plant. Stunning. I just love the, it just so architecturally uh, whimsical. And I love the pot that it's in. Look at that. It's patina so well. This, uh, my ferns, I have three ferns. We're doing so well in the, in the summer because it's fairly uh, humid here. But in the winter, because we use heating, it's uh, the uh, atmosphere in the houses are very dry. And I was having a lot of problems with my, um, my ferns. So I, uh, I don't remember what uh, YouTuber I saw it from, but I saw it on a YouTube channel. And uh, he mentioned to fill up the pots with water. And uh, that's what I did. And this has taken off. All my, all my ferns have taken off. Just look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Or is it just me? I don't know, <laughs> but I love it. Look. I have a couple more uh, in uh, terrariums, which do really well because they're closed off and there's humidity. But the ones that were out in my, uh, around my house were really struggling. And since I started doing that, so what I do is, I have this dish here that it sits on and I fill it up with water and it's done wonders. So this is my last one, last plants of my favorites in February. So I'd love to hear uh, from everyone their favorites for February. And I hope everybody has a great day. And I'll see you next Sunday. Take care, everyone. Bye.